Now, the next job is to connect your power supply to your motherboard. So for the motherboard, there are two connections to be made, a 24 pin connector and a four pin connector. If you have a new motherboard that has an i3 processor with turbo power, then it will be two four pin connectors, but more on that a little later. We will start now with the 24 pin connector. The 24 pin connector usually comes in two sections that you will have to connect together. One side has 20 pins and the other side has four pins, which must be attached. The reason for these separate connectors is that some small form factor motherboards only use 20 pin connectors. So the option is there for these motherboards. This information is made clear by checking out your motherboard user guide. Always check your user manual. So now the plug of these connectors are designed to fit in one orientation. So you will only fit in, so it will only fit in one direction. So line up as shown here. There is a clip on one side of the connector that clips over a ledge locking the connector in place. As you can see there, you see the clip just clips in over the ledge there. Now we will connect the four pin connector. This one gives power to the processor. You can see there that it's keyed. It will only fit in one way and there's a clip that locks into place on the socket. So you see the clip there on the top of it. And there's uh, it's keyed so that it fits in one direction only. So clip facing towards the outside of the board and then it will clip in as shown. So here is a new motherboard that has if an i5 processor that has turbo power. So when you are using high-end software programs that require extra power, this is where the extra power for the processor comes from. The second four pin 12 volt connector. CAD software or PC games are a good example for when the turbo power is required. So this is essential for computers that run high-end software. Everyday computing will not require the second 4-pin connector and your computer will run fine without it. But if you have, but if you have it then you may as well utilize so it is there whenever you need it. If your power supply does not have the second 4 pin connector, that's okay. Your PC will run just fine without one, but you will not be able to use the turbo power. Make sure you consult your motherboard user manual for information on this feature. Now I'm just going to show you how to connect these two 4 pin connectors. It's the same as the, just a normal four pin, they're keyed the same way. Just that there's two of them in it. They just plug in. Make sure the clip is orientated towards the back of the board. Sometimes they do need a bit of pressure to get them in, so. Just to show you how to install these connectors when you have the motherboard installed in your desktop tower unit. Because this is the way you will have to install them. And usually there is very little room for getting these connectors into position. So here is the 24 pin connector. And there's the four pin connector for the power for the CPU or processor. 
Now take the 24 pin connector and make sure it's fully assembled for your ATX motherboard and if it is the smaller form factor then you will only be installing the 20 pin connector. Again check your manual. So line up the clip with the, the ledge that holds the clip in place. Now put your fingers underneath the motherboard to prevent the motherboard from bending too much. When you apply pressure to push the connector into place it is possible to damage the motherboard. So make sure you are applying pressure up with your fingers when you push down with your thumbs. With the 4 pin connection you will have less room to get in at the connection. So the best way is to follow what I am doing here. Slip it into place and use your finger to push it in. And it will click into place. It may take a bit of force, so stick with it and it will go in with a bit of persistence. So that's it, you have now connected the two connectors of the power supply to your motherboard.